I can only assume that a great number of you are going to be aware that DJI launched two new firmware updates today. One of them was for the DJI Mavic Air 2 and the other was for the Air 2S. Now actually, these are not actually new updates, okay? Now these are all relating to improving flight safety. Now what is f improved flight safety you may ask? Can you expect to see more features or new bits and pieces or an improved signal or anything like that? Well actually the answer is no. Now from what I am understanding, these updates or improving flight safety are more relating to drone tweaks and drone hacks. Basically what this update is supposed to do is stop third party applications being able to be used with these two drones. Now what actually happened is, I think it was pretty much the 2nd of September, DJI actually launched these two updates previously. Um, I did a video on it, um, as you can see on screen now. However, what actually happened is for some reason, there seemed to be a bit of a bug. And when anybody actually tried to install these updates, it was actually just crashing. Um, some people it didn't even show and the ones that it did, it didn't install correctly and just kept showing an error. So what I believe is this is actually just that update um, because DJ actually pulled the last one and they just completely got rid of it. The release notes disappeared and everything else. So I actually believe this is just that older update that was here about a month and a half ago, rebooted, presumably with the bugs fixed so that it will actually install on people's machines. And lo and behold, you can see on my DJI Air 2S, it installed absolutely fine. Now, what I've done is I've gone out for a little test flight uh, with the DJI Flight App 1.4.12, and this is the latest build, that 1420. Now, if you do it on a Mini 2 or you've watched my previous videos, you will know that for the Mini 2, there is quite a few problems with this app however from what i've seen on the dji fly app for the i for the air 2s for example and many of you with the mavic air 2 have reported the same this app seems to be working completely flawlessly including the uh, live streaming feature which is really really nice so yeah if you are flying one of these uh, two drones you know that everything's okay now like i said in the uh, the outset of the video um realistically there's no new features but what i have done is i've gone out and done a little test flight uh, with the DJI Air 2S. So of course, if you want to watch that, I will start that video now. Yeah, so let's do this flight test then and uh, let's just see if I can get it uh, to show a false altitude because that of course has been a major issue of mine as I'm sure you are aware. So let's just have a quick look. I'm heading towards me and let's drop back down and yeah, that is definitely out I think. Yeah, there you go. So note that flight telemetry is not fixed, sadly to say. That's the ADS-B air sense kicking in. If we open up the map, we should get a notification to say that there is an aircraft approaching. And there it is. I can't see the aircraft as yet, but that is of course one of the major safety features of this uh, drone. So that aircraft is now actually out of our range and uh, must admit, as I've already said, you know, this is one of the best safety features you could possibly get on a drone. So, you know, please do uh, just take into account how excellent that technology is and just how good it is at uh, potentially saving lives, saving accidents. And just take a little fly around. This thing really is fast in sports mode, I must admit. And I mean incredibly fast. Battery life seems fine. The RC signal seems not too bad. But of course, I'm completely out in the open. So oh, there we go, another little lag, which shouldn't be happening guys, but as you already know by now, if you do follow the channel, this uh, is quite standard for me, and I get this uh, a hell of a lot. Um, we're getting a lot of reflection from the uh, props in the uh, lens there, but I do firmly believe it's down to the, the way that I'm facing this, and I don't have a problem whatsoever with it. Let's just make sure everything works. Let's uh, pop into a quick shot. I just make sure that it will select me. There you go. It's automatically wanting to select me. Drone is easiest. Three, Let's click start. Two, Let's just execute this quick one. shot and just see what happens. But of course, as you can see, that height parameter is completely, completely out. That's not good at all. Because of course, you know, we are much higher than what that shows. So of course, if we took a step up all the way and uh, we wanted to fly to that 120 meters, you would almost certainly be breaking the uh, rules and regulations and that is really not good whatsoever. So yeah, just one thing to take into account. 
Right then everybody, so the signal seems as good as what I ever normally get anyway. Um, so that's to what I expected. You can see the uh, quick shots work, so selecting a subject is absolutely fine. Uh, it's still got the issue with the, uh, the height telemetry, but it is what it is. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Time to end the video. Let me know your thoughts and comments in the section below. And like I say, as far as I'm concerned, this isn't anything to do with uh, any functions or advanced safety as such. It is literally to stop people using hacking software with the drone. Thank you very much for watching and see you again soon.